Atrial fibrillation is the most common cardiac arrhythmia and is characterized by an irregular and fast heartbeat. Patients with atrial fibrillation can experience symptoms like palpitations and fatigue and have an increased risk of developing heart failure and stroke. The current therapies for atrial fibrillation are unfortunately not effective in all patients. Research into new treatment options is, at the moment, performed primarily using laboratory animals. The differences between the human and animal heart have as a consequence that newly developed therapies frequently show disappointing results when tested in patients. To address this problem, researchers from the Leiden University Medical Center developed a method to multiply human heart muscle cells on a large scale in the laboratory. Using virus particles, human heart muscle cells are equipped with a special cancer gene that can be switched on and off. When this gene is switched on, the heart muscle cell loses its specific properties and starts to multiply. When the cancer gene is subsequently turned off, the cells stop multiplying and start to behave again like regular heart muscle cells. Using this method, it is possible to generate from a single heart muscle cell the same number of cells as present in 100,000 human hearts. The use of these multiplied human heart muscle cells has various advantages over existing alternatives such as heart muscle cells from laboratory animals or stem cells. This makes it possible to better mimic heart disorders such as atrial fibrillation in the laboratory comparable to how it occurs in patients. The researchers hope that this new virtually infinite source of human heart muscle cells will lower the worldwide use of laboratory animals for research into heart rhythm disorders and other heart diseases. In addition, these cells can give a significant boost to the development of new therapies, making it possible for atrial fibrillation to be better treated or even prevented in the future.